Hey there YouTube, Prance Hopper here. It is Saturday, December the 3rd, and I have an unboxing video for you today. Uh, this is the Free Agent Go Flex Disk, or uh, Desk, sorry. It's a 1.5 terabyte external hard drive. And just picked this up for, I think, uh, $50 at Staples after about uh, three or four coupons. So really happy about that, because um, I have just over 1.5 terabytes of space uh, internally in my uh, Mac Pro, but uh, I do a lot of graphics editing, and anyone who works with graphics uh, will tell you or should know uh, that it eats up hard drive space quite quickly, and so uh, need to expand. So uh, this, as it is right now, is uh, USB 2.0. It is expandable to USB 3.0. Uh, this is a little base here that would pop off uh, to exchange with the 3.0. So, as you can see, it says it right there. So, that's the front. There's the top. To your limited warranty, fully recyclable package. Here is uh, the side. So, that's kind of what it looks like. Activity light capacity gauge, 1.5 terabyte. Here is the back. Easy backup software, not even going to bother to use that, because if I wanted to, I'd use Time Machine. So, as I said, this is upgradable. And in uh, other languages and stuff. So it works with uh, Mac, Windblows as well. So there's power adapter, uh, base, power, USB 2.0. What's inside the box, the disk, software and stuff, driver. Oh, that's interesting. NTFS driver for Mac preloaded on drive. I'll probably just wipe this and reformat it as uh, Mac format anyway. So, all this other stuff, system requirements, and then another language. And on the bottom is copyright and serial number. So uh, I'm going to set this down here while I uh, take the plastic off and uh, open it up. So uh, I'm happy I actually bothered to go through uh, my Staples coupons for once. Usually I just trash them, but uh, uh, this time I actually utilized one. And then I had some uh, credit from Recycling Inc. as well, so got a pretty generous discount on this. Alright, so that's off. There's a security tab here. Just gotta cut that quick. in, try to get your hand in there with some decent leverage to open her up, ah, like that, there we go, so what's inside here, this part's probably got the power brick, since this is a desktop drive this does have a power brick rather than hogging up two USB ports, I hope anyway, uh, here is the drive down here, with documentation here as well. So, by the way, don't ever do this at uh, home. Shaking a hard drive is a really bad idea. Uh, I've got no other way to get this out. There we go. If you're asking why I just shook it, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I am a licensed IT professional, but I'm sure the others out there are probably cringing at the fact that I did it anyway. Anyway, so still have that. So limited warranty, blah, manual, blah. Here is uh, the drive itself. Granted, it's still wrapped up. So this is the front of the drive here. That's the side, 
That's the bottom. Here is the back. So that's the USB port there, power there. Let me set this somewhere where I don't have a magnet that'll kill it. There we go. So, set this off to the side, like that. And open this up. Whoops. There we go. And so, here is the USB 2.0 cable. Actually, this says 1.5. Come on, Seagate, don't be skimping out on me now. Here is the power brick. And nothing else down there. Very good. So check that off to the side. So, take the uh, power adapter out of its uh, wrapping. Looks like I'm actually going to have to use scissors on this. Oh wait, hold on. I lied. <laughs> it uh, reseals right here. There we go. So, there you go. Power adapter open. Now it's out. So, Standard two prong. Hopefully, I actually have an outlet to plug this in. Uh, I also have to find a USB port as well, because I think really everything uh, that I have is being hogged up right now. So, you know, uh, trying to get some decent light on this. Standard plug, pretty much. And then micro USB cable. We've probably all seen one of these by now. But, uh,. Slide the wrapping off of this, like so. So, if you don't know what the heck a USB cable looks like, that's the end that goes into the drive. That's the end that goes into your computer. If you want to see how long it is, this is uh, how long it is. It's actually a pretty generously, uh, nicely long cord, which is good. It should be. This is a desktop drive not uh, an external, unlike uh, that one over there, which actually came with a base, but there's another one under my PS3 controller. Both of those have very short cables because they are meant to be portable drives. Uh, you can see the size difference, obviously. Um, the other thing is I believe that's actually flash-based storage, where this probably actually has a physical hard drive in it. Anyway, that's the drive out now. Literally just opens right up, like so. I just unfold it, pull it out, like so. Throw the wrapping uh, just anywhere you've got room for it. And then here's a bunch of, you know, the usual protective plastic. Although, uh, here's the full tab down here. So actually that just is the plastic for that. So let's stand this back up again. Uh, looks like all this plastic is actually separated in crap. So here's another piece. Oh yeah, wow, well, this is all separated. So a uh, bit of protective wrapping to peel off here. Yep, every little piece of this is individually stuck on. Ooh. Huh. One there. And so judging by the, from the size of this here and how this is designed, this probably is actually um, this probably does have a 1.5 terabyte drive in there. It's probably one of Seagate's, you know, SATA drives or whatever. And if you're wondering why I went uh, with Seagate, um, well, A, the discount, B, Seagate uh, is a brand that I know to be pretty reliable. I've never had an issue with the Seagate drive, um, and they're the one that I would recommend. Again, undo that, and 
so uh, there you go. This is pretty light, which is uh, nice. It's not uh, heavy or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook it up to my Mac, plug it in, and um, I'll probably do another cut just to show you what it looks like once it's uh, actually plugged in. So be right back. All right, I lied. Uh, actually, before plugging this in, I just wanted to real quick show you what it looks like uh, with the base popped off. So this, again, is the base here. This is the connector that goes in the bottom of the drive. Again, there's um, power is the one here on the left. USB is that there. And then um, that's what the connector there looks like. So yeah, that just looks like um, it's a standard SATA connector. So again, there's probably a regular old hard drive in here. Um, which would probably explain the size because it's desk based. Uh, you wouldn't really need flash storage for that since uh, unless you're in an area with earthquakes, uh, your desktop drives shouldn't be moving too much. Granted, yes, flash based is going to be faster, but I believe this is like a 7200 uh, drive, so it's pretty fast uh, regardless. But um, of course, flash based uh, will be faster. So now I'm really going to plug it in, and uh, we'll really be back with that take next. Alright, so uh, the hard drive is now connected up uh, to my Mac. Just had to swap a few uh, USB cables and power cords out, including uh, a Bluetooth adapter. I now get lovely Bluetooth radiation right up front and close. Uh, not important. So uh, since I have nowhere else to put this on my disk, or uh, desk. Ah, God, I keep switching those two today, sorry. That's it uh, right there with the light. And uh, there's four bars there as a storage indicator. And so as you can see, the first one is kind of just very dimly lit since uh, there's nothing on it. Uh, so as for what popped up, um, i got a warning here, probably because I have an NTFS uh, driver software already installed unless this uses the same one, um, but I don't think it does, so I don't know. So, I can probably just ignore that. And uh, there it is, already mounted. So, uh, let me just uh, get this dialog box out of the way here. And let's see uh, what format this is on. And uh, open her up. So actually, no, that was a warning message from this drive. I take that back, because uh, it looks like it was a Tuxair NTFS drive as the format on here. So, all right, um, maybe this isn't ready for line, I don't know. Whatever, it's actually plugged in and it did mount, which is good enough for me. So here are some of the things you've got. Windows crap, some icon, more Windows crap, Seagate stuff, user guides. Uh, Mac installer, probably for like the backup software. But uh, let's see what's in Seagate. Registration. Looks like, uh, yeah, <laughs> good job, Seagate. Your program only runs on wind blows. Uh, let's see, Seagate dashboard, same thing. Applause. User guides, uh, looks like for all the crap that this comes with, auto backup premium, backup light and dashboard. I'm not going to use any of that junk, so let's even see what macinstaller.dmg is. I guess I'll probably just, you know, reformat this uh, thing. Seagate Setup Assistant, alright, let's actually run that. So, that's it uh, bouncing now. Let's we'll see what uh, the heck this has. Uh, starting up some program called Seagate. Allow. Uh, now, yeah, so here's the product registration. Welcome to Seagate product registration. It's uh, what it displays. So let me fill this out real quick. Get a
in the world is U.S.? There it is. Um, Seagate? I don't know who taught you alphabetical order, but United States does not appear above Ukraine. Next. Serial number. Already found it. Next. Customer registration is required. How wonderful. So, let me fill that crap out. spam. Alrighty. And so now, you know, the where do you plan to use this? Who are you? Blah, 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 blah. And then uh, it also pulled some system information that you can optionally send to them as well. I'll uh, send it. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't really uh, have too much about it. Um, good job, Seagate. You don't list dorm. So, we'll go home personal. Yeah, so. Here are uh, options for what do you want to do this. I'm that one. I'm out of space. Pretty much. Where is this purchased? Retail. Retail store. If you're interested in seeing what your options are, there they are. Submit. So, now registered. There we go. Alright, so now you have the option of uh, formatting this for Mac and PC, or Mac only. And uh, that is what I will be formatting it with. Uh, so that will uh, also restore the Seagate software stuff. Um, if you do Mac and PC, requires installation of the include Paragon NTFS for Mac driver. Some apps, including Time Machine and Mac backup software from Seagate, will not work. Well, that's an epic fail. So, Mac only it is. Do you really, really want to erase the drive? There you go. Nuke it. Initialize and drive for Macintosh. And so it's uh, now reformatting the drive. So it's now unmounting it so that it can format and then we'll probably remount it. Now I have to come up with a name for it, since uh, I kind of name all of my stuff. <laughs> the Pro is called Totoro, PS3 is Monolith, that's Go, that's Mamie, uh, Time Machine 1, and my internal drive is just Macintosh HD, more Macintosh HD, Media, and Time Machine. So now we're remounted. Remounted, still popping up. There we go. There's wonderful email from Seagate thanking for the registration. And now we have some Seagate GoFlex installer. Blah, 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 blah. Continue. I will probably not do the backup. Uh, wow, so I don't have an option as to what I want to install. Seriously? Fine. We'll install all of your bloatware, Seagate. Bree. Uh, there we go. Customize. Thank you. I do not want the NTFS drive. I do not want the MIMO backup stuff. Uh, let's see. Drive settings, gauge driver. Yes. We'll install all that. Password. 
Whatever happened to the days of where you plugged in a drive and it just simply worked? And really? Seagate, who taught you how to code? Wonderful. Fine. Continue. I'll just start quitting everything now then. Quit, 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 and quit. So now just waiting for everything to quit so that this can restart for whatever stupid reason. iTunes, what do you want? Just quit. All right, well, since the restart will uh, take a while, I'll just uh, stop and restart once it uh, comes back up. So be right back yet again. All right, so the drive is uh, now set up. It's now back up and operational. And uh, that one dim light uh, for the storage capacity is now um, bright, probably because the driver for that is now actually installed. So I think uh, originally that was just kind of the shadow from the power light. So um, it is now on the OS X uh, format, journaled. Um, and uh, what's really impressive is this is actually a 1.5 terabyte drive, not a kind of sort of maybe close to 1.5 terabyte after formatting drive. This is a legit 1.5 terabyte drive. Um, the only thing that you do lose is that if you choose to keep the Seagate software, uh, that will um, utilize uh, a gig. That's really about it. Other than that, it's literally 1.5 uh, terabytes of storage space. So uh, kudos to Seagate for actually making a drive that is really uh, the storage space stamped on uh, the box, unlike some other manufacturers that'll tell you, oh yeah, it's a one terabyte drive, where they really mean it's like 998 gigs or something. So it's all set up, it's functional, I'm going to start moving stuff onto this drive, so that is it.